Who's that? Oh, look, your fight card who hit you up like four weeks ago about wanting to fight and you have been busting your butt to find them a match and then when you find them a match now they're not sure they're gonna fight or not i go to mcdonald's and get a big bitch because you a bitch bitch so i'm setting out a lot of people when they do these sit outs they look up and they which is right but then they kick their leg this way here okay that's not like the worst but it's definitely not the best way to do it. You will get reverse doing it that way a lot. A lot of times it's just not gonna hit, okay? I wanna sit my leg that way, not to the side, okay? So when I hit a sit out, my head comes out to one side and I'm gonna shoot my leg this way, okay? Not to the side, but behind it. And I'm shooting into my turtle position. So again, I like to go toward the side that the arm is uh, trapped on because I wanna come up with it. So my head comes up, I'm gonna look up the whole time and my hips, boom, shoot to behind him. My head's looking up. It's okay for your hip to pop, to touch the mat. We just don't want to keep it there. The moment I get here, we're coming up. One more time. I'm here. Leg's going to posture out. That's going to, going to, what's going to let this happen? If I stay here, you're never going to hit a sit out. Never going to happen. Okay. I've got to come up to my foot. My head needs to be on one side and I want to come up to my foot on that same side. I'm looking up and shooting here and just rolling straight into my uh, top side turtle position. All right, now I got a bad neck, so I'm not showing it again. So I hope y'all got it. One, two, three. high-level wrestlers they have a flow like jiu-jitsu people do they're not sitting there driving for a single takedown or one thing you know what I mean their flow is very like like they're trapping you the whole time the whole time you're wrestling with them they're trapping you from one thing to the next to the next to the next to the next they're not forcing anything um they're they just have a different pace really high-level jiu-jitsu and high-level high wrestling while philosophically they're different y'all heard me talk about that like the philosophical difference of like wrestling I'm imposing my will versus jujitsu. I'm imposing your will kind of, like I'm like trapping you with like technique versus imposing my will. But really wrestling at its highest level uses both sides of the coin, just like jujitsu at its highest level uses both sides of the coin. Like, you know, go, like everybody talks about how strength and athleticism and like imposing your will isn't jujitsu. Okay, go watch, go watch IBJJF World, go watch EBI, go watch any of that. Those guys aren't imposing their will on each other. They're f just flowing. No, they're imposing their will. They're smashing. They're they're using pressure. They're you know what I mean. But they also have that flow from going, when knowing when something's not there and flowing into the thing. But both are hard for the same reasons though. And I was telling them like I feel like it's because guard it's hard to systemize guard passing. It's hard to create. Nice. Is that you? Nice. <laughs> Ripped one. Dude, I love having haters, bro. I love that shit. Cause, bro, I've never heard of you like people I don't know like that's how you know you're starting to make it you're starting to make it when people you don't know talk shit about you you know who else people talk shit about Elon Musk uh, Joe Biden Donald Trump famous people do you think they give a f about you no they're mega rich they're like they don't even know who you are you think they give a shit no absolutely not <laughs> It's so important he brings a camera with him. Everywhere I go, everywhere I go. What's up, man? You good? How are you, brother? I, I don't know what to do when I'm not coaching or working at one of these things. Weird. It's so weird. I don't know. I don't know what to do with my hands. No, what the hell?
Dial Talks. Excited to be here. Not a lot of fights come here, so we're just all we're just all happy to be here. You know. We got Mr. Jake Reeves in the house tonight. Mr. Jake Reeves from the Memphis in the house, and he's going to have a fight here on May the 21st. Is that right? May 21st. Yes, sir. May 21st. Hey, if y'all need to go see Sean Gates or Jake Reeves for tickets, I'll go to RelentlessFights.com. Keep going. He's folding. Keep going. Hey, I got some good leads. Hey, we just got to close them now. I'm here for one reason. That's to make money, son. Hello. I like money. I've had three white claws and I'm about half damn drunk. <laughs> half. Scott? No. Just mow the cameraman. Mow the cameraman. <laughs> but he can be Scott if you want him to. Are you leading to Scott? Yes, yes. <laughs> We're up, Scott. The word from Scotty to Hardy. You're Scott now. No more drinks for me. <laughs> That'll get him a seat. <laughs> I ain't even getting a chair. Hey, look, right Every time we do a vlog, 
and we're like showing shit in Columbus, it's always shit just hitting the fan by the end of it. Whenever Every we're time. Time. It's just every time. Every Don't time we do anything in Columbus. do drugs. Shit. We can't have fairs. We can't have fights. Can't have shit here. This damn town makes no sense to me. <laughs> this is the most little bitty, cute little quaint, hood ass, ratchet freaking town in all of the United States of America. We're too small to have these kind of problems. It's like 37 people that live here and they're all on drugs. I do like this town. I ain't gonna lie. It's exciting because you don't know what's going to happen next. It's like watching a soap opera. It's like a TV show. Like, you just, you really don't know what's going to happen in Columbus, Mississippi. Oh, man. My stress is through the roof now. Oh.